Sagittarius, how you doing? So Steve is back to normal. Steve has found Buddha. Steve, Steve has found his normal self. He's very calm, very relaxed, and he's understood a lot of things. And your vibration in life and your vitality is very important to know what's yours and what are other people's. Okay, so Steve's back to normal. <laughs> I do appreciate and thank everybody. I don't know what signs are what and who people are, but um, I don't know if you did know, but I lost my brother a couple of three days ago, and this was actually his. Uh, I'd just like to thank everybody for leaving messages and all that kind of thing. So I'm just kind of saying that on every video at the moment. Uh, but I really do appreciate that. But this was my brother's and this was Buddha. Okay, so he actually put me on my spiritual path and um, uh, introduced me to my first psychic medium when I was younger and actually had a tarot card reading. And I think my very last card was, uh, don't be a fool and throw it all away. <laughs> so it might be a message for you. Don't be a fool and throw it all away, Saj. But that is a message that I received uh, through a past, present and future. But I think my future already existed because I pretty much flushed my life down the toilet. <laughs> and I had to regain myself. Um, so I don't know, you might need to gain, regain and regroup your vibration or something or your spiritual belief or something like that. But anyway, I thought I would mention that the fool, yeah, don't be a fool and throw it all away, Sagittarius. But let's see. So through the pre-shuffle, you did have a jumping card that came out twice, so I'm going to keep it. Okay. But this is you versus them and it's a mirroring spread also. Okay. But it's a karmic cluster reading that I will explain towards the end. But you've got the nine of... Swords, okay. Now, this is a self imposed energy, and a lot of people say, no, Listen, Sag, you can get out of this anytime you want, <laughs> right? Not really, no, you can, but this is somebody, okay, a feeling and a thought, but more of a thought. It's an over imposing feeling that's self imposed, but it's a thought because this is somebody, <coughs> excuse me, this is somebody that concentrates more on what they don't have than what they do have, okay? So they concentrate more on loss than gain because if you're constantly thinking okay about things that you don't want things that you don't want in life that's what you will get you know god will always say yes and spirit will always say yes to you and so will karma karma <laughs> karma is a planet okay which is saturn and it doesn't give a fuck about you as a as, because it's not a human being right you've heard me say that before saturn is not a human being it's a planet okay you are a celestial human being Saturn will grade you on your test and watch you constantly. Okay, oh, oh, so you want a bit of that, do you? Okay, oh, oh, so you want a bit of that? You want a bit of this. Okay, so you can have that, you can have this, and you can have that. So, if you, when the tides turn, and the tables turn, and the tide turns, okay, within time, also, within planets, when your vibrations are on and you learn your lesson, because this is the lesson, the tides turn, okay? So this is someone that's all up in their shit. Sorry, Sag, but somebody is all up in their thoughts because they concentrate more on what they don't want in life than what they do. Now, why this is karma, it can be very confusing, is because so many times in life we concentrate more on things that we don't want. You know, there's so much in life, so, well, it's just not right. It's not perfect. I need that 1% to find my 10 for an ending. But it never does. Why is that? Because your mind slips into... A mirror of other people that we're interconnected with, especially when you're dealing with soul group clusters of people or soulmates or love, okay, or psychology, okay. So, this is where the mind can become out of control because people concentrate more on what they don't want in life or what they don't have in life. Well, life is not fucking perfect, Edge, <laughs> you know, to anybody, cross watchers, anybody. Life is never perfect and you never always get what you want because thoughts and feelings always change with the tide and the term. The term of how long it takes for you to learn the lesson. This is sacrifice. Someone that sacrifices their own happiness through wanting everything because they concentrate more on lost and gain. Okay, so sometimes tides can change through a mirror where when you understand your lesson, okay, the other person will be okay and the other person will receive this back. You know, because they've done something, they worry, they stress. Well, did I overanalyze? Did I do this? Did I do that? What's going wrong in my life? Why is it always happening to me? Me, 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 I, I, I. The nines can talk about someone that is obsessed or they can, <laughs> or possessed. <laughs> you may feel that you're possessed. But some people, because it can be like a cry for attention. It's attention seeker also, a nine. You know, the nine of cups is a draining energy as well as what this is, you know because it's self-imposed you do it to yourself you know you do because you as as human beings we concentrate so much on losses and gains and we don't actually realize that we're not living presently for what we actually have you know 
So what ha someone has is a self-imposed prison, pretty much, Sag, I'm sorry. This can be you or them. But let's have a look for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for from the 13th until the 31st of May. And let's have a look at the other person. The other person from Sagittarius, who they're connected with. So, let's have a look. so you've got, wow, so Gemini, Libra, so you've got a lot of air. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, that's rude. I have stopped smoking quite a while ago, and um, wow, that process is uh, definitely a healing process. <laughs> Some of you could be healing from that. Um, but this is someone that's okay. This is this is cutting out the shit. This is like, well, I'm only it's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you've got two lots. This can be Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Someone is kind of like cut somebody out. It doesn't have to be like rudely. It can just be like it can be. Like, I'm just fucking cutting people out and, like, I don't care anymore. So it means that they're, they're very wise also. It's also the receiver of a feminine energy of someone that's very wise, okay? Because it's the, it's the feminine. doesn't matter if you're male, female, what meat suit you're in. This is the receiver that receives messages from spirit that kind of like, well, I pretty much know my path, so I'm just going to, like, cut everybody out of my life in order to gain my vibration back. You know, my vibration is my own, and you won't get past this kind of calling. You know, that's what it's kind of saying. Um, it's kind of like I'm willing to accept the truth when the truth is said, but unless the truth is said, you can pretty much keep it, you know. Because this can be someone at a very high vibration because they're also very, um, like, analytical where they're starting to use more of it like the king would, but the queen would be very analytical, coming Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, where I'm using my head more than my heart now. It's a head over heart decision where I've decided that now I'm more wise, I'm not falling for the okie doke. You know. And that could be the tide that's turned now because now someone's all up in their shit. You know, this is a lot of sword energy. You know, cutting out, cutting out the. Because the, this doesn't have to be a sleepless night. This could be uh, over analyzing and, and over analyzing a situation that leads to panic and worry. So someone may be worrying on a different side of the scale, could be an earth sign, um, that now someone's not going to accept their offer because they put themselves in a trap and they're now discovering, I'm caught in a trap, I can't hold back because I love you too much, baby. That's the song I'm picking up. I don't want to leave you now. Another one. I don't want to leave you now. Uh, George Harrison, that one, right? The Beatles. But let's have a look more on this side. Because someone's fearing, because it's like fearing abandonment. So you've got Libra. You've got Libra. So these, when I say a star sign, okay, it can either be the energy that you're imposing or a story that I will come out with, or it's someone that's involved, okay? <clears throat> but someone is being entrapped probably within something that's to do with children, okay? Something to do with children. Or your children could be Libra. Or, or generally, this is the karmic scales that are being balanced, okay? All told, regardless of the sign. This is what you get. What you give is what you get. This is why I was picking up on that. What you give is what you get back. So pretty much what you think, what you overanalyze, keep searching for that 1% profit of what things that you will never get because life's not perfect. Okay, you have to have alignment of mind, body and soul within karma because this is like time indicative to time on the wall. Um, and this is like um, karmic scales being balanced. So it's like a, um, the tide's turned. The tides turn. Someone's receiving back what they keep thinking. They keep thinking more about, will my past come back to haunt me? Will my past come back to haunt me also? Like, so I am just all up in my shit, constantly worried about my past keeping me trapped. So uh, because my past keeps me trapped, I am just entrapped. And now I'm all up entrapped in my mind of where I constantly search for a way out, but I never get it. Because it's part of my past. My past is part of my frontal lobe that I constantly see happening around me of where I can also cry for attention. Also, you know, because it's a nine, 
It's an attention seeker also. Sorry, Sag, but someone is, because that's what nines are. Crying for help. 999 is a cry for help. Um, it could be a Libra that's involved, or it could be children that's involved, or this is like um, someone that is receiving what they've been doing to themselves. You know, let's have a look. Because this is receiving also. This is like I'm only willing to receive as just a taker. Could be two bad spins. A bad spin of someone that can just cut people out at a moment's notice. Or they have cut something out because they're now more wise to accept it from this energy that's here. Let's see. Queen of Wands. Queen of Swords. So we've got two cards. So you've got a water sign and karma, the wheel of fortune. Okay, so there's definitely been an ending for sure. You've got a judgment call. Could be a water sign. This is like, okay, so I'm only willing to accept anything in my life, regardless of whoever it is, purity, like an opportunity. There's an opportunity that awaits for someone to also speak the truth and accept the truth. If not, I will concentrate on an opportunity in another direction. Okay, I do apologize. Okay, so sorry about that, but my dog was going ballistic at the door. People were delivering cards and stuff. Okay, so what I'm picking up here is that this is like purity. It's like I'm now the receiver. I'm the now the receiver of the opportunity. Be it you or be it someone new. Be it you or be it someone new. Because this is an opportunity also that come and go. You can miss opportunities all day long. These are things that, that are presented to you from the universe of an opportunity for you to either have someone new or someone old. Okay, Or of an opportunity for someone to actually be the receiver now. It's like I'm receiving the truth. This is the truth. You have an opportunity in order to speak it, to say it, to feel it. Use your feelings and emotions because the tide is changing. Time is changing. That's pretty much probably why I picked it up. Because karma now seems to be going in the favour of this side. Of this side. You know. Because this is the receiver of the truth. It can be truth that people are spying across the internet. Because this can be internet travelling, all that kind of stuff. You know. Because the, because it talks of truth. So the truth can be someone that... Um, that you know is, is to do with travel or spying across the internet or internet based stuff that can be parts of the truth we'll see um but yeah because this is the receiver of the opportunity now there's an opportunity for for this side to actually speak up say the truth of what it can be about the truth can be about children or entrapment within a marriage or so that can be this side either knows that or doesn't know that. But these two cards are Saturn and Karma. So because this is, side is here, of now up, all up in someone's mind, they're now probably fearing and wondering that Karma is not going in my favour and it's now going more in this one's favour. Because I probably am married. Or was married or it's something to do with children or it's generally worrying about the fact that the karmic scales are not being balanced in my favor and this one now seems to be having opportunities with other people maybe or it's an opportunity for me to actually speak to this person and tell this person the truth something about the internet travel or karmic something that was karmic that could have been in their past that's been haunting them or that did come back to revisit them karmically because they've been concentrated more on lost and gain and that what you manifest back into your life by being indecisive or so okay which is where the tide turn, turns you think what you think if you keep thinking it you manifest it back into your life it gets pulled back into as a karmic cluster you pull soul groups back into your karmic cluster and that's pretty much what happens okay you can have it okay oh well we'll tick that you want a bit of this you want a bit of that okay oh you want that do you okay well, you have more than what your cake... <laughs> you can have your cake and eat it. This is like a cake, separation of bits of cake in order to eat. Someone wanted a whole lot, so that's pretty much what you get. You can eat the whole thing if you want to. Free will, okay? So probably someone wanted more than what they bargained for, and that's what they got. So 
So let's see. Sorry, Saj, I don't know who this is because there was a judgment call. Uh, who's who? But you know, this is probably where, as a reader, I start getting the blame for reading cards. <laughs> but each to their own. So let's have a look under justice. Justice. One card, please. Justice. So you've got <coughs> the Queen of Chalices. <coughs> so you've got Water Sign Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, so this is kind of like mirroring also. Mirroring. So... Because mm, this is like... Can be like overanalyzing and over like thinking situations but this is also like alignment with where like I've now learnt my lesson I've now learnt my lesson I'm more in tune with my feelings than I am my head because this is a head over heart decision and this is a head mm, over a karmic decision this could be relating to some moon rising and Venus people and this is where my vision start getting a bit because <laughs> you've got two lots of water here I mean, the karmic scales are always balanced out, regardless. So everybody will receive something. You know, you always do in the end. You've got love here, definitely. Definitely. You've got opportunities to speak the truth. Uh, to 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 receive the truth. Someone here is willing to receive the truth about love, maybe. Or the fact that a Libra could have been involved with a water sign. And that could be the karmic scales of what's happening there. And that's why someone's all up in their mind. And this side is willing to receive the truth. And it will go more in this favour here. If the truth is about love. If the truth is about love. If, yeah, if you connect with whoever this side. Okay. This side first and most important card out is someone that's all up in their mind okay fearing so pretty much the truth could be when the karmic scales are balanced and you balance yourself out what i will accept from you is an opportunity for you to speak the truth about love and not emotional like like feelings and love and not like whatever's created within your fucking self of your mind whatever's going on in your mind is not what I want to hear. What I want to hear and will receive is an opportunity to either one, someone new, or two, for you to actually speak the truth about your feelings for me. So the karmic scales are balanced because you've got two lots of karma. Depends on how it continues on. These can be parts of people's chart still, and it can get very confusing if you're like mirroring a soulmate energy or so, or like if you don't have more than one person and one path, you'll get you'll get confused. You'll get confused. You know, that's why karmic scales are balanced, because you know you can only ever ever have one person in your energy. Because you've got two court cards here. You've got two queens, which can be also indicative to same-sex kind of uh, uh, marriages or commitments or partnerships. Okay, two queens. But you've also got two court cards, which can normally mean other people that are involved. Court cards. They're other people. They're not star signs, but they are people. Because they're kings and queens, so they, they come up as other people are involved. And that's probably why this person is only willing to receive the truth from this person that's fearing the fact that they could be involved with the Libra and the water sign, or in their chart. Because you've got a Libra, and you've got a court card here, but you've only got one court card here, and then an opportunity of karmic return, of a karmic return, pulling. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go over onto Vimeo, okay? 
Uh, it's very cheap. It's like the price of a pint, two pints of milk. I think it's like two or three pounds, something like that. Okay. Now everything's in the description if you want to see it. Okay. That of questions that I will variate uh, and ask. There's like six or seven different questions, but it really does depend on what continues here because I may start to ask different questions over on Vimeo. But I'm going to continue with this reading and then also ask different questions of how I think and feel of whatever happens through that reading. Okay, uh, all prices are all there too. If you want a personal reading of anything like that, that price and everything is all in the description. It's all been left there for people to read. If you just don't want to go over to Vimeo, but you want to know what questions I'll be asking first before you do, they are also part of what I've been adding and will add more on. Okay, but it really does depend on the reading. But this will be in your bi-weekly folder. So this is from the 14th until the 31st, the, sort of like around May sort of time. Okay, but energies are fluent and we all know that. Okay. But that is there as an option for people. If not, I will hopefully, or hopefully see you over on Vimeo. If not, I will hopefully see you uh, some part in the next month or whatever it is I may have coming up. Okay, all right, Sanj, thanks very much, guys, and I'll catch you soon. Peace.